In a small, secluded village nestled deep within the woods, there lived a mysterious old woman named Agatha. She was known for her peculiar habits and her eerie, dilapidated cottage that sent shivers down the spines of anyone who dared to pass by. The villagers whispered tales of her dark magic and the strange concoctions she brewed in her cauldron. One gloomy evening, as the moon cast an eerie glow over the village, a young woman named Emily found herself lost in the woods. Panic began to consume her as she stumbled upon Agatha's cottage, its crooked windows and overgrown vines adding to the sense of foreboding. Desperate for help, Emily hesitantly knocked on the door. The door creaked open, revealing Agatha's hunched figure, her eyes gleaming with an unsettling intensity. Emily's heart raced as she explained her predicament, hoping the old woman would offer her shelter for the night. Agatha, however, had other plans. With a wicked grin, Agatha invited Emily inside, leading her to a dimly lit room filled with shelves, stacked high with jars and bottles containing strange ingredients. The room smelled of herbs and decay, a combination that made Emily's stomach churn. As Emily glanced around, her eyes fell upon a large, black cauldron simmering over a crackling fire. The contents within were obscured by a thick, bubbling liquid that, that emitted an otherworldly aroma. Fear gripped her heart as she re realized she had stumbled upon on Agatha's most sinister creation. Agatha's voice echoed through the room, her words laced with a chilling tone. You see, my dear, I have been searching for the perfect ingredient to complete my, my most potent potion. And you, my dear, are just what I need. Emily's blood ran cold as she realized the tr true nature of Agatha's intentions. She was to be the final ingredient in the witch's wicked brew. Panic surged through her veins as she desperately searched for, for an escape route, but the room seemed to close in around her, trapping her in Agatha's clutches. As Agatha approached with a wicked smile, Emily's survival instincts kicked in. With a surge of adrenaline, she lunged forward, knocking the cauldron off its stand. The bubbling liquid spilled across the floor, emitting a cloud of noxious fumes that filled the room. Coughing and gasping for air, Emily stumbled towards the door, her vision blurred by the toxic haze. She managed to escape the cottage, collapsing onto the damp forest floor, her body trembling with exhaustion and fear. Days later, the villagers discovered Agatha's cottage abandoned, the cauldron shattered and the room tainted with the remnants of her dark magic. Emily's survival became the stuff of legends, a tale whispered among the villagers as a warning to never venture into the woods alone. But deep within the shadows, Agatha's presence lingered, her malevolent spirit forever tied to the cottage. And as the villagers passed by, they could swear they heard the faint sound of a cauldron bubbling and the chilling laughter of the witch who had once dwelled within.